Uh, look, folks, I, uh, I get it. Um, you know, I understand that inflation is gutting all of us like a fish. You know, I, uh, I buy food and I buy clothes and I have to fill up my car with gasoline and uh, uh, I, I know the price of electricity, your electricity bills have gone up. I get it. And, and I know that uh, many of you are, are disappointed uh, in this place called Washington, D.C. I am too. As bad as it looks from the outside, you ought to see it from the inside. And I know many of you feel like government has, has let you down and uh, the government doesn't care about you or about your future or your kids' future. Um, and, and I feel the same way sometimes. Uh, people are having to dig into their savings. Uh, a dozen eggs just jumped from $1.62 uh, to $2.52. A single pound of ground beef was four sixty six a year ago. Now it's five forty one. Chicken uh, is up more than more than four dollars a pound. Food banks in our state are even having to cut back. Uh, they're having trouble stocking their shelves to feed our people. And in, and look, it's summer. Electricity costs are up eleven percent. Used cars and trucks are up twenty three percent. You can't afford to put. Uh, gas in your car or truck even if you can buy one um, and we're seeing just record prices every day this inflation it, it's there's nothing magical about its cause uh, we just the federal government just printed too much money I mean this the last bill that President Biden passed it just put us over the top it was two trillion dollars two trillion dollars that's two thousand billion dollars and they said it was a covid bill but it wasn't it was really an expansion of our already generous welfare program uh, and they passed this bill at a time when the economy was already recovering they said well we needed to recover but the economy was already recovering and a lot of the money was wasted um, Look, I'll just read you a couple of things that, that this so-called COVID money was, was spent on. Uh, they built uh, a $28.5 million apartment complex in Seattle, Washington for the homeless with views of the, uh, the Space Needle in Washington. Um, they, uh, in, in Rhode Island, they, they uh, spent $53,000 remodeling a city hall and buying ergonomic chairs. In New York, uh, they used $12 million to expand a minor league baseball stadium. In Arizona, they spent $7.2 million to increase the prize money at uh, horse racing tracks. Uh, we can get this inflation under control, but we've got to do two things. Number one, we've got to stop spending we, money we don't have, and we've got to stop print, printing it. We've got to do what you do every day and live within your budget. And number two, the president just got, has just got to get his foot off the, his boot off the throat of the oil and gas industry. Oil and gas prices are not going to come down as long as we're having to buy oil from foreign countries at these inflated prices. Oil and gasoline are not going to come down until uh, we go back to producing our own. It's just that simple. And we can get there if the Biden administration will, uh, will stop its war on the oil and gas community.